Yes? Oh. I'm back. I guess Juro hasn't come home yet. Fluffy isn't here either. I should get dinner ready. Stop after the third. Shimada coming in pinch hit. He's closing in on a thousand hits. This could be it. What should I make for dinner? I think we have some fish. I think Juro would like some fish. I'll grill some mackerel. Oh, and simmer some taro. And done. I'm home. Oh, what a feast. Mir Did you make all of this? Amazing. We'll eat once Juro gets back. Why don't you go wash up while we wait? Right. <clears throat> Sounds like you're pretty hungry. It's okay. I will wait. Well, it seems like Juro is going to be late. Go ahead and eat before it gets cold. No, I could never. Please, I insist. Go ahead. Uh, are you sure? But what about you, Megumi-san? Don't worry. I'll eat with Juro. I see. In that case, I'll do as you suggest. Thank you for always preparing our meals. It was as delicious as ever. Oh, thank you. Can I help you with anything? That's okay. I've already put away the cutting board and everything. Why don't you go watch some TV and relax? TV? That's better. Mm. You know, Miyura-kun, you don't have to wear your hat in the house. The surgical scar on your forehead doesn't bother me. How did you know this scar was from surgery? Did I tell you? Well, it, um, just a lucky guess. I see. Oh. It all happened right here. And that's that. Keitaro Miura is a witch. You can't overlook him just because he lives here. But Juro could be home any minute. Does it have to be now? Yes, right now. <sighs> now, on to the next headline. The video store explosion that occurred today in Keiakicho. An <sighs> investigation found that the accident was the result of a gas leak. This is what happened before. Don't come over here, you coward. Hurry up and shoot him right in the forehead. Don't come up. Mira 
Kun. You always wear your hat, even when you eat. Megumi-san? Why is that? It's because... I have a scar on my forehead. I thought it might be unpleasant. Oh, you don't have to worry about that. That scar... It allows you to pilot a sentinel. Isn't that right? How do you know about that? You want to know how? I'll tell you. But can you show me your forehead first? <sighs> I'm sorry, but I have no choice. This will hurt. But you'll soon forget. I'm sorry, Miyurakun. Don't touch him. He's dangerous. Just as I thought. He's had surgery. There's a component embedded in his forehead. It forces them to use their magic. Who would do such a thing? Humans, obviously. There's many that greatly covet this power. But it's not entirely bad. That component gave him immunity to the curse. This is a good catch. The curse? Yes. He is able to use magic. And not suffer the same fate as Juro. Huh? All right, you see him. It won't be long before he wakes. I'd get out of here if I were you. Next, we bring you a follow-up report on the gas explosion in Kayakicho. The administration claims these explosions are being taken seriously. Gas companies have been put on immediate notice and instructed to be vigilant in their inspections. Gas explosions? Something doesn't feel right. I'm home. Huh? Mirakun, have you been at home the entire day? <laughs> Juro. Welcome back. Dinner's on the table for you. It's fine. I'm not hungry, actually. Come on. I'm sure you'll change your mind once you start. Why do you care about me so much anyways? Oh, is that... bad? <sighs> Just quit treating me like a child. Miyurakun? What's wrong? I'm sorry. But there's somewhere I need to go. I won't be long. A gas explosion? I need to see for myself. Fluffy. You failed to shoot a Sekigahara. You're going too damn slow. Alright, sorry. Why were you taking so long in there anyways? Striking stupid poses with your gun doesn't accomplish anything. When it comes to things like this, you need to do the deed quick. Quickly, you got that? <sighs> I'm sorry I didn't catch that. Got it. Well, nothing that can be done about it now. But you'd better not screw up this time. This time? Shu Amiguchi, the floppy-haired dunce that hangs around Juro. He is also a witch. <gasps> you should still have some bullets left. Seal his powers tomorrow. Think you can handle that? I'll get it done.
know. Good morning, Amiguchi-kun. Morning. Did you leave your motorcycle nearby again? Sure did. But won't it be bad if the school finds out? Nah, it just looks like a motorcycle. But it's a regular bike. Really? It's obviously a joke. <laughs> I didn't bring it into school, so no big deal. You can still get in trouble. Whatever. Our school doesn't care. I was wondering, can I come over today? Sure, why not? Great. Oh, right. Gonna swing by the vending machines before class starts. Okay. I'll see you after school. Target already. you do on that quiz oh, terrible man pop quizzes just aren't fair hey you know amiguchi he's a first year like us the girls fawn over him he's great at sports and his grades are higher than those nerds that study all the time wow he's really got it all totally unfair man I heard about the delinquents at our school. Apparently, they used to be a lot worse. I heard that too. My senpai told me. Ogata-kun from 1D really reformed them. But isn't he a delinquent too? Yeah, but he's different from the others. Plus, Amiguchi-kun hangs out with him. Oh, he is so dreamy. I guess Juro hasn't come home yet. I wonder if he's mad at me. I should get dinner ready. I make for dinner. I think we have. I'll make. I'm home. Juro. Welcome back. Dinner's on the table for. It's fine. Juro. Watching me? Fine. Juro! You were waiting for me on purpose, weren't you? Uh -uh. I keep telling you, if they find out, we'll get we'll be expelled. expelled. <laughs> yeah, I know. <sighs> right. Oh! Yo. Good morning, Amiguchi-kun. Morning. Huh? What's up? What do you want? Oh. I'm not here to talk to you, Kurabi-kun. It's you I'd like to see, Amiguchi-kun. Me? You're from 1C, aren't you? I am. My name is Megumi Yakushiji. Cool. So what can I do for you? Well, 
I don't really want to talk about it here. Could we meet somewhere later? Just the two of us? <sighs> oh, I see. How about after school? Let's say the roof of the new building? The roof? Yep, I'll be waiting. It's hard being so popular. Are you? No. I... I see. Fluffy. I know what you're going to say. Do the deed quick, right? I won't fail this time. Ugh. You better not. Gucci. I wonder if he's already on the roof. There he is. All I have to do is shoot him. It'll only take a second. Okay. Here we go. Got shit on my mind. What about you? You look like hell. Something weighing you down? Yeah, you could say that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I totally forgot. What's happening? Oh, this is Yakushiji san from 1C. She stopped me this morning. Told me she had something to talk to me about. This shit again? Sheesh. Sometimes you're real annoying to be friends with. I'll just get out of your way then. Again? Oh, just stuff from middle school. Girls used to confess their love to me in front of him all the time. Oh, oh, wow. Is that what this is about? I'm sorry, really. But I've got feelings for someone else. That's not what I came here to tell you. Oh, sorry. Awkward. So, what do you need? I guess I just assumed. Sorry about that. Well, what is it then? <sighs> What the hell did you do this time? Fluffy... 
He must have come into contact with Mura too. Damn it, how irritating. Juro, he... he saw me do it. I'll take care of it. What are you still doing here? I need to manipulate his memories. And make him forget everything he saw. You think I can do that with you hanging around? Take a hint and scram! on the roof today. The roof? What are you talking about? Oh, Fluffy. He really did alter his memories. It's nothing. I'll start making dinner. Oh, you don't have to. I'll just make instant noodles or something later. You can't eat that for dinner. It won't take long, so hang on just a bit. Okay? <sighs> I really just wanted some ramen. Now to the ongoing story of the American helicopter crash. Huh? During a routine flyby, a U.S. military helicopter clipped Sakura High School at low altitude <gasps> and crash-landed into Ayame Park. A U.S. military helicopter? That was definitely a sentinel. Did Fluffy do this too? <sighs> what a nice evening. Fluffy. Fortunately, there were no injuries reported in the aftermath of the U.S. military helicopter crash. First gas explosions, now helicopter crashes. Human cities really are the worst. Oh. Juro's memories of what happened on the roof. You really did erase them. You gave me no choice. But if you can do it so easily, What's to say you won't do the same to me? Well, nothing really. So it's possible that you won't restore his memories. And are just using me for your own personal gain. If I was a bad guy, sure. There was no U.S. helicopter crash. It was different from the one Juro was piloting. But it was a Sentinel. Altering the news is part of your powers, too? You think cats are some kind of little furry gods? You're no cat. Well, duh. It'd be pretty crazy if there was a talking cat wandering around. Wait a minute. What if you're the crazy one? Maybe I'm just a figment of your imagination. Maybe there's no such thing as magic. Sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. Clark's three laws, huh? Well, guess there's no point in hiding it anymore. I'm a cat like robot from the future. I even gave you a secret gadget. Oh, yeah, the time machine's inside your desk drawer. Wanna check out my four dimensional pocket? Quit messing with me. The Dimos Code. By sealing those that hold power, we'll be able to defeat the Kaiju. That's what you said, right? 
I said that you all wouldn't have to die. Tell me what you're really trying to do. Otherwise, I won't help you anymore. That's going against our contract. Fine, I'll make an exception this time. Even if you seal the witches, the kaiju will still come. Then what are we sealing them for? This is a game. A game of survival. I've simply been readying the playing field. And now the witches will join in the fight. They'll have no choice but to take their sentinels into battle. Then, what I've been shooting them with is... A magic that forces them onto the battlefield. No. Anything can be resolved with a magical spell. A happy ending for everyone. You know that's not the way it works. Your world's future is on the line. You need to fight to win it. I'm just here to watch it happen. You're talking to me way too much today. What does it matter to you who I am anyways? Your only concern is for Juro, right? I've been looking for memories in that busted brain of his. It's like trying to sift through mud, and it's all for you. But if you want to break our contract, then I'll stop right now. It won't be hard to find someone more capable than you. An honest girl who actually wants her wish granted. <sighs> now, if you plan on upholding your end of the contract, then I need proof. I want you to shoot your friend. Tomi Kisaragi. She's a witch. I can't do that! Remember your contract. Remember it real good. Tommy. Juro? Why are you sleeping out here? You're gonna catch a cold. Don't wake him up. You again. But how? I said, don't wake him up, idiot. I'm fixing him. This prank is starting to get on my nerves. I don't want to be a part of it anymore. Is someone trying to test me? You really are a suspicious one, aren't you? Your cute girl charm is quickly wearing off. It's time to start accepting your reality. But... talking cats don't exist. That's right. And yet here I am. Even better, I know your wish. Hasn't Juro said anything to you? Something about his dreams, perhaps? Now that you mention it, he did say he had a dream about getting in a robot. Yes, I've been digging through his memories. Will that make him remember everything? Maybe, if they're still in there. I can find memories and put them back into an empty head. Pretty amazing, I know. Well, that's the end of your trial period. I gave you a preview of the benefits you'll get from me. Anything further requires a contract. <sighs> oh, fine, I'll answer any questions you have. And then, you have to decide. After you agree, there'll be no more questions. I expect you to carry out your duties with no complaints. What exactly are you? A magic cat, obviously. 
You said you came from a world that was destroyed? That's right. My world was destroyed by Daimos. Daimos? You mean the Kaiju, right? You heard that from Juro Izumi, didn't you? The curse that summons them. That's the Daimos Code. And all the witches in this world are affected by it. Let's say I do agree to this contract. How do I know you'll hold up your end of the deal? Well, aren't you rude? Cats are free spirits, but they are not con artists. A cat who betrays his word is nothing more than an animal. If you don't trust me, then say so. You're only wasting time. <sighs> what will I have to do to fulfill my end of the contract? At least, a general idea. Your job isn't hard. First, I will give you one of my magical tools. You will use that to seal the witches. Seal them? What happens after that? The Daimos Code will call the Kaiju. If you seal the witches that have access to it, you will be able to live longer than you are fated. The Daimos Code? You mentioned that before. You said it was a relic of an ancient civilization? A terribly old relic. From a magical civilization that existed millions of years ago. But if it's from that long ago, humans would have still been apes. It's pretty crazy, right? Can you tell me more about the witches? They are those born with the power of magic. Piloting sentinels, using gates. It's only a fraction of their power. And Juro is one of them? That's right. He's a witch too. Don't be shy. Ask me something. If you're not going to ask anything, then make your choice. You can fix Juro, right? Sifting through someone's head is what I'm best at. Oh. Okay. I will accept your contract. Then it's settled. Now, this should go without saying. But this agreement between us... If anyone finds out, the contract will be broken. And you'll never see me again. What's your real name? Call me whatever you want. Well, I don't know then. You called me something when you saw me at school. What was it? Oh, um... Fluffy. Now, how lame. Not very original, are you? Lots of things are fluffy. Well, whatever. I guess that's fine. in forever. Yeah. Good Me morning, Osami-chan. Morning. I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. 
Maybe you don't want to go with your friends? You're my friend, too. Or did you forget that? Well, anyways, I noticed something the other day. It was how unusually quiet your room was. So you can understand my surprise when I saw that all your things were gone. All right. I'm sorry for not saying anything. That's okay. Just kind of feels like a waste. Not taking advantage of the apartment Shikishima got for us. Huh. Then again, they are Showa-era buildings. So I guess they're not that great. So, where are you living now? Oh, um, at Juro Karabe's house. Hold up, you're living with him? Seriously? You have Morimura's permission for that, right? Well, probably. Oh. You've changed, Megumi. You think so? You've been way more proactive since you came here. Which is a good thing and all, it's just... Well, you know, he's not... I know that, but I don't care. Since the day Juro showed up, no matter how much the world might change, I decided that I would always be by his side. Oh. Aw, oh, sheesh, Megumi. But I get it. I'll help any way I can. We're friends, you know? You can talk to me about anything. Oh, right. Thank you. Come on! We're gonna be late! Tomi... I don't deserve your friendship. I hope one day you can forgive me. Okay, then. Usami-chan, wait! <sighs> what now? I changed my mind on the melon pan. Make it a chocolate cornet instead. Oh, come on. Okay, I'll be waiting. So Yori wanted... Egg pan? No, it was an egg sandwich and strawberry milk. And for me, we'll go... Yakisoba pawn and melon pawn. No, wait, not melon pawn. She wanted a cornet. Hmm. So, counting mine, I need two cornets? Hmm. I also wanted a tuna sandwich. Oh, with milk and a tea to drink. You sure you want to wait here? If you don't hurry, they're gonna run out. <laughs> I'm tired of the chaos. Suragi. Oh, good timing. Hold this. Hey. All right. One more time. Hey, wait. I need to buy something, too. Fine. What do you want? Oh, uh, Anpan. I thought you didn't like sweets. Huh? I like sweets. Well, whatever. I'll get yours, too. Keep holding that.
No. If I see her face, there's no way I'll be able to do it. I have to shoot her when she's not looking. Tommy. Huh? You trying to buy bread too, Megami? I yeah. Want me to get something for you too? Oh, no. I'm still looking. If you don't decide soon, there's gonna be nothing left. Okay. Out of the way, you nerds! Tony, please forgive me. <laughs> Tony, what happened? Are you okay? Hang on. Don't push yourself. Are you okay? Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, Anpan. Do you need me to take you to the nurse's office? Huh? The cafeteria? Why are you here? Oh, right. Rock, paper, scissors. Hmm. What else did I need to buy? <sighs> that girl. Hey, you. Hang on a sec. I saw you. You did something to Kisaragi in the cafeteria, didn't you? Huh? I'm not sure what you're talking about. Hang on. Don't play dumb. And this isn't just about Kisaragi. <gasps> I can't remember it exactly, but you were the one who helped me before, I think. Is that right? Please stop. If you don't leave me alone, I'll call for help. That answers that. It was her. 